Um, some of the big things, obviously, are the new technology that's going to be on it. All the new technology that was on the Civic and the Accord is now going to be transferred into the new Fit. So those are the big things. Also, you know, the styling is a lot different now. The wheelbase is a little bit different. So the handling is going to be better. The performance is going to be better. It has more horsepower. Some of those things are going to be the great things about the new Fit. It's been, I want to say, about four or five years since the styling has been changed on the Fit. So it's been the same for that long. It took a year off in 2014, and then they redesigned it, and they came back out in 2015. I think that um, in the Detroit Auto Show was the first actual presence of it, so everybody got to see the new styling and what it looks like. We actually had one this year at the uh, Denver Auto Show that we just went to, and we had one on display there. It was an EXL, which is the top trim level on it, and uh, it, it looked great. It was really a great car. So we actually had a chance to test drive it. Uh, the Honda rep came in from California, and he, the funny thing is, is he's 6'7". So you've, have you seen the fit? It's, it's, it's kind of a smaller car, it's a subcompact, but he fit in it great. And I actually got in behind him being 6'4", and I actually fit and I still had about an inch of legroom behind him. So it was pretty awesome on the inside. The, the cool thing is that we got to drive it around, you know, all day, well, for about 20 minutes or so, and I got a chance to actually see the styling, feel the performance, feel the handling on it, which is really nice. They've improved the suspension, so it handles a lot better. Uh, the turning radius is better. Even the rollover effect, when you kind of turn at a hard angle or if, you're, if you've got to make a sudden course correction, all that stuff feels a lot better in the new fit, so. Uh, I would say anybody that's owned an Insight, a Civic, you know, kind of a smaller car, anybody that's previously owned a fit is probably going to be excited about it. Um, I know I've got three customers waiting for it to come in, so that's kind of a nice thing. And uh, I know at least three or four other salespeople that have a couple people lined up to see the fit. So I think it's going to be received really well. More horsepower. So there's about 15 extra horsepower in the engine. They've improved it and they put the Earth Dreams engine, which gives you better fuel economy. It's a lighter engine, so you know it's not as heavy on the car, which adds to the fuel economy. Um, it's less emissions than the original, the 2013 fit. Um, the torque is better on it. All the new technology that's on it, we have the econ mode in it now, which is, gives you about three to five extra miles per gallon than what the sticker says. So that's kind of a cool feature for people that uh, didn't have that previously on the fit. Um, another big thing is that the, it's cut, the trim levels have kind of lined up with the rest of our cars. So now we have an LX, an EX, and an EXL in the Fit when we only had the Fit Base and the Fit Sport before. So now <clears throat> the, uh, the big thing with the top trim level is you can get leather in it. You can also get a moonroof. You can also get fog lights on it. You know, all these things add to the character of it. You can get navigation in it. It has Bluetooth in it for your phone. So those are the big things. The, uh, the wheelbase is a little wider, so it handles better. The suspension is better, so it handles better. Um, on the tires, you can get alloy rims on the EX and the EXL. So those are nice features on that. Makes the car lighter, gives you better fuel economy and better performance. Um, on the interior, it's actually bigger by about four and a half cubic feet. Even though the, the car is shrunk by about an inch, as far as the length goes, the wheelbase is wider and the interior is actually bigger now. The, the cool thing about the interior I like is that there's four different modes that you can put the seats in. So one of them being the utility mode where you can actually fold both the seats down and you have a huge cargo area in the back. The second one being the tall mode which you know utilizes the, the magic seats in the back. So you can fold those up and you can kind of fit bikes in there and plants. You could fit a five foot tall plant in the back of that if you wanted to. Um, <coughs> the third one would be the refresh mode or the mini RV mode is what they call it. And you can actually, if you, you know, if you got to stop after a long trip, you can stop off the side of the road. You can hook up your phone to the car, watch a movie on the, uh, the seven inch iMid display. And you can put the front seat all the way down, sit in the back seat and you've got the, all that leg room and you can just kind of relax. Um, the last one being um, long mode. So let's say you're going skiing, you're going snowboarding, something like that, where you've got some long equipment you need to put in the car. You can actually, you know, two people can sit, one in the driver's seat, one in the, the passenger driver 
area on that side and then you can put the whole uh, passenger seat down and put your skis in a long ways and put the back seat down as well so that you can get all that long stuff in there. You know, obviously there's skeptics about how the fit performs and, you know, is it going to be great? Is it going to work in the mountains? Is it going to do all this cool stuff? Yeah, it will, you know. Um, the people that are really interested are the people that have previous owned fits, the Civic, um, more of a subcompact area of people. And then um, I think a lot of the people that drive SUVs or bigger things were kind of impressed by it just by the sporty look. You know, it has the trim levels now. You can get the, the moon roof and all the cool features on the inside. When they actually looked at the inside and the cargo space, they were, they were pretty impressed because, uh, you know, even the CRV has a huge cargo room in it. The fit challenges that even, you know, being a, an SUV. Even people that are just maybe looking for a car, you know, even the price range is great for them just because, you know, you're looking at maybe 19,000 to about 21,000 on the average between the, the three trim levels of the car. And that's pretty affordable for most people. So they don't have to worry about getting into a Civic or getting into an SUV and, and spending a little bit more when they can get all that performance and technology in a, in a subcompact car. So makes it nice.